What's up everyone? Today I wanted to um, show you guys my Stephen King book collection. I have been collecting Stephen King books for a long long time and I got like almost every one that he wrote except for maybe like one or two. But Stephen King is my absolute favorite author and I just think he's brilliant for the ideas he comes up with. So start things off, his very first book, and by the way, I'm going to be showing you guys in order of how he wrote the books too. I got them all in order. But uh, his very first book he wrote was called Carrie, and uh, it's about a girl with telekinetic powers. It was really, really good. Um, the ending, though, was kind of okay, but I really did like this book. The second book he wrote was Salem's Lot, about vampires. Um, it was a unique twist about it, but, I mean, it was a very good book. I loved reading it, and I think, yeah, I gave it a 5 out of 5. Yeah, it's it's really incredible. Uh, the next book he wrote, this is paperback, uh, is The Shining. Um, this one was one of my favorites. I'll show you my absolute favorite, but... This one here is one of my favorites. Um, I like to have the hardback book, but I really do like this paperback one. I just think it like looks cool. Um, next up, we have The Night Shift, which was a short story collection. And by the way, uh, his book Salem's Lot was a prequel, or... Uh, not a prequel, but a sequel to this short story called Jerusalem's Lot. Uh, right after this story is the base of the book Salem's Lot. I didn't know that. But, um, yeah. I like the short stories in that one. We got this big baby here called The Stand. Now this was an incredible story. It's a beast of a book. But it, it is one of his best works. I really enjoyed it. Um, next up we have The Dead Zone. Uh, this one didn't have a dust cover on it when I bought it. But <clears throat> I still think it was a really good story. Um, next up we have Firestarter. About the little girl who can set things on fire with her mind. Um... It was a great movie, and uh, it followed along with the book with just everything. Although the book follows like way more than the movie, which, of course, books do. But this one was actually really good. Um, what's next? Cujo. Yeah, I've been trying to collect them in hardback as well. Hardback is what I'm aiming for, but... I like paperbacks. I'm not against them. Cujo is one of my favorite stories. Uh, it's believed that the murderer in the Dead Zone, uh, Frank Dodd, uh, is ghost. Because at the beginning of this book, it talks about Frank Dodd. And it's suggesting that his ghost had went inside Cujo. But it's really just what the story is about. Cujo uh, gets bit by a bat and gets rabies. Um, next up, we actually have the Bachman book collection, which is the four short stories of Rage, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man, which was his books that he wrote as Richard Bachman. But, yeah, I got that. Um, that's all four of the stories in that one book. Next up, we got Different Seasons. I haven't got to read this one yet. It's uh, four short stories, I believe. And it has... Um, oh, uh, what's that story in it? Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, it has that in here. I've been wanting to read it, but I haven't really got around to reading that much. Next up, we got a good book called Christine. Tell you the truth, I like the book way better than I did the movies. I, don't know, I just really enjoyed the book. The ending gave me chills. <laughs> um, next up we have Pet Cemetery. Uh, 
this was just a regular edition. I think it came out <clears throat> right before the movie did. But um, this one's my favorite. Pet Cemetery was extremely good. I read that book twice, and then I watched the movies and stuff like that, and I just, it really, it was really deep. Um, next up, he wrote a book called Cycle of the Werewolf. I don't have that one. Uh, I just ordered it, like, maybe an hour ago, so it should be here in, like, maybe next week. But, anyway, I'm going to have that one in paperback. Uh, next up, we got Thinner. Which, that's a really creepy look for Thinner. Uh, another one of his really good short stories. I guess you can call it short. I mean, it's really light. Uh, and he wrote that as Richard Bachman as well. Next up, we got The Talisman. Yet another book without a dust cover. Talisman was actually very interesting. Because uh, Stephen King and Peter Straub wrote it. And it just told a really unique story. Just, it kept me going. I couldn't put it down. Next up we got Skeleton Crew. One of my favorite uh, short story collections. Um, this one I actually wanted to read right after I finished it. Like, I don't know dude. It was just, as soon as I put it down... Like, finished reading it, I wanted to start all over again. It has uh, The Mist in it, and it also has, like, The Raft, Word Processors of the Gods, Reaper's Image. It's, it's just one of my favorites. Uh, my absolute favorite Stephen King book, hands down, It. It was incredible. Uh, I love the storyline in it. If you just watch the movie, I'm sure you're going to be a little bit confused, but this the book actually explains every detail, and I really do love the front cover. That's just creepy. <laughs> but okay, I'll continue at the same time. Next up, we got Eye of the Dragon, uh, sort of medieval time period. It's a different twist for Stephen King. Um, this one actually has like pictures in the book. Uh, I haven't really read this one yet, but when I get around to it, I will. Uh, next up is my absolute second favorite book of all time, Misery. This one, I read it in like two days tops. It only took me two days to finish it. It's a real short, like thin book. Uh, real, really quick to read, but... It's one of his absolute bests. If you want a Stephen King book to read, I advise you to pick up Misery. Like, hands down. Next up, we have the Tommyknockers. It's a, like a weird alien kind of thing where spaceship was underneath the ground and people who are living around it sort of like... I don't know, they change, they start inventing stuff, and it's just weird. But it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not going down it. Um, the dark, dark half. It was actually really cool. Um, like kind of weird in ways, cause like I could see him as a writer. You know, you can have two split personalities, and the uh, the dark half is kind of like a struggle between that your writer side and your living everyday side. But it was just. I don't know. That was incredible. Um, next up, we have Four Past Midnight. I'm actually looking for a different one because somehow this one, I don't know, it just broke. It's hard to explain, but I will try to get another one. If not, I'll just keep this. Um, I really love this book. It also has a continuance of Cujo. Uh, one of the short stories in here is called The Sun Dog. And what it is is every time this guy takes a picture, every, no matter what picture it is, it has this dog in it. And at the end of the book, it is said to have been the, like Cujo. They don't plan out say it, but you pretty much get the hint. Next up, we have Needful Things. 
this one was a very like mental book uh, where this guy Leland Gaunt moves into uh, this town and makes a store called Needful Things and I don't know it's his, he's really the devil and I don't want to give it away if you haven't read it but that one's incredible too I, I suggest you to read that um, I'm going to tell you about two more books and then we'll take a break uh, Gerald's Game I haven't got to read this one yet uh, but I heard that this one was pretty mental as well. A girl uh, is getting ready to have like sex with this guy in this cabin. And he has a heart attack. And she's just tied up to this bed or handcuffed to the bed in the middle of the woods. Just without a key or nothing. And uh, we got Dolores Claiborne, which was... I haven't read this one either, but uh, I've seen the movie, and I'm kind of wanting to read it, because Kathy Bates did a really good job. So, yeah. Um, next up is Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I think this has one of the coolest uh, cover for, like, books. Just the scarecrow in the middle of the road. Uh, this one has, like, th I think the most short stories that he's wrote. In any short story collection. If I'm not wrong or something. But anyway. um, Yeah. I haven't read that one either. <laughs> so I can't really say much. Insomnia. I haven't read. So I can't really tell you. Um, but I have. I got this from one of my best friends. He gave it to me. And he had read it. And he said that it was incredible. So. But that's part one of my Stephen King book collection. I will be right back with part two.